Hello people, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how I make lasagne. Some people say lasagna, some say lasagne. So, 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 it's the same. So I'm going to show you the ingredients and then we'll move from there. Hope you're going to enjoy this video. Please don't like, forget to like, share and subscribe. So here are the ingredients I'm going to need. So for the ingredients you're going to need, uh, that's ground, I usually mix my mincemeat, that is ground pork and ground beef. And then here you have uh, the la lasagne sheets, these are green ones, are those spinach ones, they're green color, and these are the normal white ones. And then we're going to need um, muscat, that's... Um, what is it called in English? It's a nut. Um, what's Nuscat called in, in, called in English? I've forgotten the name. I'm going to, if I remember, I'm going to write in there as the video goes along. Then you're going to need black pepper. Then you're going to need tomato paste. Then we're going to need that uh, wheat flour. That's for the white sauce. And then you need milk for making the white sauce. Then you're going to need um, that's uh, canned tomatoes. They are peeled and cut, and with a little bit of um, coita, with a little bit of um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, with a little bit of um, <laughs> my head is hanging. Uh, what's coita called? Um, yeah, sorry, coita. Then I'm going to use oregano. And then also butter for the white sauce then I have some salt Himalaya salt and sugar sugar is really really important because it helps get rid of the bitterness from the from the tom uh, from the canned tomatoes and from the tomato paste and also we are going to need something I forgot um, we are going to need a uh, cheese for the layering so some use parmesan but i prefer using mozzarella because it's creamier it's even there it's creamier that's uh gerieben mozzarella that's been uh, versus gerieben uh, it's grated it's not uh, full it's grated mozzarella so i prefer mozzarella so these are the ingredients i'm going to use and today i'm going to take you on a step by step of how we make lasagne or rather how i make lasagne so as I said before, uh, those are the greens that I normally use to make the lasagne. So I'm going to show you step by step how I make the lasagne and then, yeah. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Let's get cooking. So, this is not essential, but I normally put my lasagne uh, sheets in a bit of water so that they are easier to cut. Now I'm going to prepare the meat. I'm going to use rosemary olive oil. So the best way to do the meat, I usually first fry it only with oil. When all the water is completely out, then I proceed to add the spices. So let's start cooking. Bam, bam, bam. No, I said I don't too low, put it to seven. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. That should be enough. So. When it's time to fry, fry. So as I said, I first fry the meat until only with oil until all the water is completely gone. And then I'm going to add the spices step by step. So guys, as you can see now, the water is almost completely gone. So I'm just going to... Um, I like breaking the mincemeat so that it doesn't have lumps in it. So, um, yeah. So I think that's it. So I'm going to start adding the. Um, so that's oregano. 
that's oregano camera so that's oregano just add it in there and here it's the canned tomatoes the tomato paste the some salt and sugar for the sugar part that I yeah I used my eyes I didn't but I put uh, two teaspoons of sugar so the, uh, but the sugar you have to just see when you're finished and you're done then you have to see if there's enough sugar or not so yeah that's it so as you can see the water is completely gone now I'm going to add uh, the, toma the canned tomatoes some people add uh, beef cubes but I don't like it you can add it you can leave it I just like mine the way I do it and some people use red wine also I love 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 using red wine but today I don't have any so I'm just going to make without you can use beer without red wine so now it's time to put the um, tomatoes those are tom as I said tomatoes uh, um, tomato paste sugar salt and pepper so I'm just going to hold on put the spoon away just going to pour the mixture inside so I'm going to put that aside so yeah then let's mix it So I'm going to turn the heat from 9, then I'm putting it at, uh, let's say, 5. So uh, I'll just let that cook. I don't know if I should turn the lights on or not. Let's see if it's better with the lights on. I think it's better. Yeah. So I'm just going to let that, um, I think I'll go down a little bit. It has to seem, it doesn't have to boil. So down to... I'll leave it at uh, two and a half. So I'll just mix that, give it a mix so that the spices are completely mixed and also the tomato paste and the tomatoes are mixed. See, let this side also put a little bit. So, and now when it's simmering, or rather while it's simmering, I'm going to start making the white sauce for the um it's like the glue it helps the uh, lasagne sheets uh, makes them easier to um yeah if you don't put them it's going to get uh crunchy what you don't want so as i said before this is not essential but i usually put my lasagne sheets in water this helps them get easier to cut yeah so well that's i'm going to cover to take my pot cover there it is so and while that's uh slowly simmering i'm going to start making the the white sauce so now let's start make the white sauce for the white sauce you'll need milk uh butter i have made the i melt the butter when it's melted add the milk not yet melt the butter add the wheat flour and vitamin milk wheat flour and then salt is essential and um muscat nose what is muscat called in german mm, muscat muscat I really oof, muscat 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 nose. I have no idea. I have to Google. I know how it's called, but when it comes to that, then my brain freezes. So we just have to and a whisk also, so that you don't get lumps. So we make the butter. See the butter starting to melt. So in the bolognese is simmering pretty well. Oh, I can smell the aroma. Mm, do you see that? Simmering pretty well. So we stick it up, and you can see the butter is already melting. So we start. So butter, I usually eyeball. I eyeball the butter. I eyeball the flour. I eyeball the milk. I eyeball. You have to make sure the sauce is not runny, and also not too hard. It has to be uh, in the middle. So when that is melting, you can already add the. I'm just going to pour. Whoopla, I'm just going to pour it in there. 
Tap, 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 tap. Oops, I think that's enough for now. I have to mix, mix, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. So now that's the tricky part. I'll need both hands to hold. So, and here as you can see, that's the mixture of the butter and the wheat flour. So I'm just going to start um, pouring the milk in. And the milk step is really important. You have to keep stirring and stirring so that it's not lumpy. Just going to add the whole of the milk. So, all of it. Then I have to, you have to be quick with this. So you have to stir until the lumps are gone. And in this step, you can already add the muscat mousse. You just eyeball, you just sprinkle. So I think that should do. I think I'll be needing more milk. But yeah. So I have to be quick, it doesn't get lumpy. You have to reduce the heat to a six. It was a nine, I reduced it to six and a half. You have to be quick and mix so that it's not lumpy. So guys, the sauce is ready as you can see, it's not too runny and not too thick. And then the bolognese also looks good. And the aroma, I wish you could smell that. So now it starts the layering. So, give it a little bit of mix and bring it out. So, for the layering, the first layer and the bottom part, you first have to put a little bit of the sauce and then you put the, this is the first layer. So, take this whisk off. So, and then a little first layer of sauce, just scoop it out. Make sure the bottom is completely covered. As I said before, it's not necessary to soak your lasagne leaves in water, but I do that so that, yeah, just in case the liquid is not enough, that they're not crunchy. So, I put the first layer of sauce, and then I put the first layer of the lasagne. Lasagne sheets, so that one side. And that on this side. So, I have to line it better. Better. And then add a little bit on top here. Yeah, just in case. Because the bottom part is always the trickiest part. Because if you don't layer, uh, that's the part that gets most dry. If you don't um, put enough uh, liquids or the enough sauce. So it completely and then comes the bolognese part so move that aside Hoppla. clean here yeah, this sometimes gets messy it's annoying anyway so <clears throat> sorry now I put the meat parts stop ping ping so, just add a layer of it, make sure it's um, a good layer. So, that's the layer, and then you need the cheese. So, say that's the mozzarella. You can use parmesan if you have. I have parmesan, but I really prefer mozzarella because it's, so as I said, it's creamier. So, then just put a layer of, move out of the way, a layer of the cheese on top like that. And yeah, a little bit more. And a little bit more. You can put as much or as little as you want. It depends on your really on your taste. So I think that's that. 
So and then it goes again. Now I did again I did another layer of lasagne, put it on top. And then again, so I'll put the lasagne sheets on top, and then I put the white sauce on top, and then the meat, and then the cheese. It goes like that until I'm finished. So I'm going to finish up the rest and then I'll show you the end results. So guys, that's how it looks like. That's the last layer. So, and then you're supposed to preheat the oven at 100 and um, 180 degrees and then you make it between 20 to 25 to 30 minutes depending on how, yeah, you can see if the top is brown enough then you can take it so, so between 20 and 25 and 25 minutes and 30 minutes and then yeah i'll show you the end results so and while it's cooking or it's brother yeah cooking baking i'm going to clean my battlefield here see after cooking in the kitchen <laughs> so while it's cooking i'm going to clear here and then i'm going to show you the end results when we are almost eating See you in a bit. Mm -hmm. So guys, as you can see, the kitchen is ready. I already showed you the, how the, the kitchen is clean. Clean, clean, clean. I've already cleaned up. And yeah, and the food is almost ready there. The end results. Look at that. Uh, it's time to dig in. So I hope you like the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, okay.